I need to constantly remind myself over and over again, I am not yet where I want to be, but I know I'll get there. It's not enough to hope to win one day. You've got to expect to win today. When you set a goal, there needs to be a sense of urgency. See, we don't have the courage, and that's what it takes, courage. It takes guts to do that which you know you need to do. If you don't have the courage to act, life many times will move on you and make you act. Life will whoop your butt so bad. You will be so miserable, you will catch so much hell, you say, yes, I will do it. What do you want me to do? Take me. That dream is not going to wait and say, take a breather. It's going to say, come catch me. Catch me if you can. If only I'd taken the chance. They didn't start a business. They didn't ask that crush out for a date. They didn't travel. They had an opportunity at, at one point in their life to do something beyond play it safe. They chose not to do that and now they regret it. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities, work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. It's all on you. If you fail, it's because you stop running. If you fail, it's because you stop running. You stop caring. Here we have it, episode six. So we are a quarter of the way over, a quarter of the way through prep so far. Thank you so much for coming along the journey with us as things progress. I mean, it's been a really, really good prep for us both so far at this point. So I'm six weeks in, she is four weeks in. And for both of us, I think we are absolutely nailing it. Kind of everything to the T that we can do, we are doing. Getting all our steps in, training, food being hit to the gram every single day. And that's what it takes, you know. If you're going to go down this path, you've got to give it 100%. But yeah, it's going on really, really well. The week for me is coming off pretty slowly, um, but it's going in the right direction. Training performance is still really good. Ashley's is coming off a lot faster than mine, so she's having quite quite big drops, which is good. But both of us still have a long, long way to go. Um, now, we were having a discussion the other day about wanting to look like other people, and it's kind of how I used to think a long time ago, like, I, I wish I had his physique or I wish I had their arms kind of thing. And to be honest, like, it's such a, a poor way of thinking, you know. You should never want to try and be someone else or be like someone else. You should want to be just the best version of you. And that's what we're, we want to try and strive to achieve, you know. Like, you shouldn't want to have someone else's physique. You want to just build on your own and just make you look the best you can. So if there's any advice out there that I can give is if you're not happy with the way you look, then change that, you know? Like, if you feel like you're not big enough, like, train train harder, train more consistently, eat more food. If you need to feel like you need to lose a little bit of weight, like, do, do the opposite. Like, take some food away, go through a dieting phase. Just want to, if you want to look the best you can, you've got to make that decision, like, get the goal that you want to do and write it down and say, I'm going to hit this in a certain amount of weeks and I'm not going to be satisfied until I'm done. But to be honest, we're never ever going to be satisfied, right? You're never going to get to 100% the way you want to look, but that's the that's the mentality you should want to have. You want to keep progressing, keep going further. What's the next goal? What's the next goal? Like me and Ashley have both been in this a long, long time. Like, I've been training in gyms over, well, I'm getting on now. 13, 14 years, I started when I was 16 and I'm almost 30. Like back then, like I I didn't have a clue what I was doing and it's only been in the past three or four years that I've gone, right, this is the direction I want to hit. And again, closer to this, the past couple of years, I've definitely stepped up my game. I made it 
as good as I can do to get re me ready for stage. You know, so that's that's the way I'm headed just now. And so far the journey has been absolutely amazing. I've learned so much about myself. I've learned so much about training, like intensity especially, and just doing everything outside of training that's gonna help me get there, you know. So even in off season, like I was tracking my foods like 99% of the time. Um, I was making sure I was hitting my protein goal. I wasn't going out every weekend getting drunk or, you know, I, st I still went out, do you know what I mean? Like we still we still went on dates and we still had a couple of bottles of red wine just to enjoy ourselves. But um, for the grand scheme of things, for the past six months, six or seven months, I've been off plan. I've had 10 off plan meals since I started with my coach, Joe. So, and three of them were at Christmas and three of them was at when we were away in Manchester for our coaches convention. So that's six, um, six and we were just like stints and stuff like that. So yeah, sticking to the goal the best I can, knowing that I wanted to go on stage, like I really had to stick to the whole plan the best I can. And that's the whole point. You know, that's why we, we do what we do because we want to be ready for stage and not focusing on the training or nutrition even when you're not in season is still going to progress you a lot lot further than you think you know so even though the groundwork is done like losing weight during prep it's all the things you do outside of that that's what makes a big difference i think so i will leave that one there thank you very much for watching this youtube channel and thank you so much for watching this video again please like and subscribe and i hope you like this one i'm quite proud of it Thank you very much and speak to you soon.